hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to start a new uh, discussion on a new topic a new subject which is uh, satellite communications so the next uh, few videos will be discussing uh, about the basic introductory concepts uh, related to the various aspects of uh, satellite communications it's a very uh, vast topic okay so the first video like uh, we did in all the other subjects we will start with the basic introduction okay on satellite communications okay so the first thing uh, which we have to understand is what is a satellite so a satellite is a smaller object or a body that revolves around a much larger object in space and uh, it takes or it follows a certain fixed and well defined path okay so it is a much smaller object in size as compared to the size of the object around which it revolves in a fixed or well defined path so this is the simple definition of a satellite now there are two types of satellite natural satellites and artificial satellites now the earth it revolves around the sun okay in a fixed well defined orbit the fixed well defined path similarly the moon it revolves around earth now the size of earth is smaller as compared to the sun the size of the moon is smaller as compared to the size of earth so in a way the earth and the moon they behave as satellites and they are called as natural satellites because both the earth and the moon they follow this definition of a satellite okay so they are natural satellites similarly all the other planets which revolve around the sun they also behave as natural satellites now the artificial satellites are uh, specifically designed okay they are manufactured for a specific purpose and are launched into the space in order to revolve around a particular planet or any other moon or sun whatever so a particular for a particular task these satellites are designed okay mostly to monitor planetary activities earth or any other nearby neighbor planets moon whatever so these satellites which are designed artificially and are launched for various uh, purposes such as weather monitoring navigation tv and mobile communication planetary research they are called as artificial satellites okay the example are in sat irs gsat etc there are many many artificial satellites so these are just a few examples so this is the definition of a satellite and this is the two types of satellites that we can categorize and the natural and the artificial satellites now our topic of discussion will revolve mostly around artificial satellites and mainly on the communication point of view okay the subject satellite communication so mostly it will revolve around communications but still we have to understand some basic introductory concepts so the basic elements of a satellite communication system the main blocks 
of the satellite communication system are as follows. First is the earth station located on earth. Okay. It is the main center from which the transmission or the reception of the signals it happens. Then of course the artificial satellite located in space then we have a terrestrial network which uh, is uh, which plays the role of routing the signals from the various devices be it a phone or a tv or any other device which is linked to the satellite through the earth station is this terrestrial network and then we have the end users okay which means us, whatever device we are using, be it a smartphone, a television or any other uh, device which is linked to the satellite. So these are the four main elements of the satellite communication system. Now we will understand the working principle in short. We will go into detail but just to give you a you know a rough idea of what actually happens we have to uh, you know confine it to a few lines but it is a very vast concept we'll go into that in detail but just to give you a idea in short let us understand how the satellite communication system it works now as i said the whole network it consists of several earth stations okay several earth stations see it is the earth station which is the transmitting earth station which is and uh, which is connected to the various devices be it a computer a smartphone a television whatever which is called as users through a terrestrial network okay now a network of such earth stations exist okay a network of such earth stations exist there is not only a single earth station there are many earth stations which are connected to various millions of users millions of devices now the end users as i said they are connected to a single earth station through the terrestrial network so we have a particular earth station which is linked to several thousand users and in such a way there are a network of earth stations which are linked to several users or several devices through the terrestrial network okay now when a communication is to take place what happens is that the device be it a phone a television or a uh, computer network whatever it generates a signal called as message signal it is processed and passed through the terrestrial network to the earth station okay these devices they generate a signal whenever we choose to uh, uh, you know we switch on to a particular uh, let's say a channel or if we activate a particular service whatever we do we actually generate a signal it is processed and passed through the terrestrial network to the earth station the transmitting earth station then the transmitting earth station it modulates the signal we have already discussed about signal modulation it means certain characteristics of the signal be it amplitude frequency phase is changed or altered by the transmitting earth station okay signal modulation happens at the transmitting earth station then the earth station shifts the signal on the uplink frequency range now what is the uplink frequency range or uplink frequency spectrum it is that frequency with which it communicates with the satellite in space okay 
So, the transmitting earth station shifts the signal on the uplink frequency range so that it can be the signal can be sent to the satellite ok to the satellite in space. So, the frequency range in which the range in which the communication takes place between the transmitting earth station and the satellite is called as the uplink frequency range or the uplink frequency spectrum. Now, the satellite the main function of the satellite is amplification. So, the distance between the earth station and the satellite is several several thousands of kilometers. So, as the signal travels it it it, it uh, there is a lot of energy loss that happens in the signal. So, the first task of the satellite in space is to amplify the signal because the signal has to cover the same distance and the downlink frequency range to reach the receiving earth station. So, signal amplification takes place at the satellite and also some processing signal which we will discuss uh, in the detail, but now you understand at the satellite amplification and certain signal processing happens. Then the satellite retransmits the signal back to another earth station called as the receiving earth station on the downlink frequency range. So, the downlink frequency range is that frequency range in which communication takes place between the satellite and the receiving earth station. Okay, that is the downlink frequency range. So, now after receiving the signal from the satellite by the receiving earth station, it is demodulated and amplified again and then it is sent to the particular user, okay, the end user through the terrestrial communication network, okay. Again, the receiving earth station again demodulates to extract the original message signal, amplifies it, does some processing and again sends it to the particular user for which the information was intended. So, basically the end systems are these devices ok. These devices are the end systems from which the information is to be transmitted, transmitted and received. The terrestrial network, the earth stations, the satellite, they just perform the task of you know routing the information from one point to another until it reaches the final point, the final destination, source to destination. Okay. So, this is the whole process. Now, the what happens at the transmitting and the receiving earth station? So, we know that the user, the device, it generates a message signal called as baseband signal. What happens? First, it is passed through the encoder block. So, encoding particularly means that the analog signal is converted into digital or bit stream ok binary digits sampling quantization encoding we have already discussed that. So, through those analog to digital conversion techniques it is converted into st streams of bits binary digits zeros and ones. Then it is passed through the modulator where certain modulation happens changes to the characteristics amplitude frequency or phase then the up converter shifts the signal on the uplink frequency range the uplink frequency spectrum from the up, uh, up converter it is sent to the amplifier for suitable amplification because it has to cover a large distance so suitable amplification is needed then the antenna sends the signal. Same thing happens in reverse at the receiving earth station. First, the antenna receives the signal from the satellite. The amplifier again amplifies the signal because it has covered a lot of distance. So, obviously energy loss uh, will be there. Then 
the down converter shifts the signal on the downlink frequency range we all know that to bring it back to the original frequency in which it was originally transmitted then the demodulator extracts the original signal original message signal from the modulated version the decoder converts the bit stream of data into the original analog form so we get back the original message signal okay so this is the whole operation that happens at the transmitting side and the receiving side now the uplink and downlink frequency range so basically this uh, uplink and downlink it can be uh, divided into three bands c ku and ka so the downlink range for c is from 3700 to 4200 megahertz the uplink is from 5925 to 6425 megahertz for ku it's 11.7 to 12.2 gigahertz and for the downlink and uplink is from 14 to 14.5 gigahertz and the ka is from 17.7 to 21.2 gigahertz and uh, the downlink and the uplink is from 27.5 to 31 gigahertz so mostly uh for basic satellite communication purposes such as tv bro broadcasting or whatever the c band is used and ku and ka is uh, uh, is reserved for other purposes uh, which are of much more importance such as military communication or weather monitoring um and other very important purposes and for basic satellite communication purposes the c band is used okay so these are some of the basic introductory concepts related to the satellite communication systems okay so here we discuss the basic things and in other videos we'll go into detail about the various other aspects so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much